Hey guys, welcome back to the Dermacom channel. I got a couple of PMs asking me how I go about creating army lists, and I wanted to go ahead and showcase this software that I use quite heavily. I think it's possibly the best gaming aid that I own, which is Army Builder, and it's by a company called Wolf Layer. Now, Army Builder can actually be used for many more game systems other than Warhammer 40,000, but that's the use that I specifically have for it. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is what you'll be presented with after clicking on the Army Builder software. And if you're using it for a system other than Warhammer 40,000, uh, you can click on the Updates button, which will become available, and download it for just a whole slew of, of different types of uh, games that would require the generation of Army Less. So let's go ahead though here and click on Warhammer 40,000 5th edition. It loads up the game files associated with it and it presents you with creating a new roster. First thing you do is select an army and you'll see that there are just a ton. It's every codex that's out there. The Imperial Guard one is probably slightly out of date. There's usually a 30 day to 45 day lag behind when a codex becomes available and when uh, there's an update available for it for Army Builder. But everything else is completely up to date. They even include fan made codices like the Crute Mercenaries. But for this example, we're going to go ahead and use the Space Marines. You can then choose to have it an unlimited size, which means you just want to toy around and whatever army point limit you come up with is what you guys will probably end up playing with. Or you can restrict it to a certain level for those people prepping for tournaments. Uh, you can click here on this button which actually changed the rules. So for instance, if I don't want to use a Black Templars, I want to do a codex specific, so something that comes straight out of the Space Marine Codex, I can click there. If I wanted to change it so that I'm playing Apocalypse, I can change that, and that actually changes some stuff on the following screens, and I'll show you that in a minute. But for this example, we're going to go ahead and just create a 1500 point Black Templar army list for a standard mission. So let's click, click Create, and if there's any special rules governing the army that you selected, they'll show up here. And now you're presented with the main screens. And this exclamation point inside of a red diamond, both here and here, indicates that the army list requirements are not met. So for instance, because I'm doing a Black Templar army list, I'm and it's 1500 points, I'm required to take an Emperor's Champion, and I must have one HQ and two troop choices. So let's go ahead and uh, start adding things to my army list, which will show up right here. We'll click up top to the HQ, and now I get a full listing of the HQ choices I have as Black Templar. Let's go ahead and add that Emperor's Champion in, and you'll notice that when we add him, He's still in red. That usually means that there are some other configurations that are required. In this case, if you look to the right, you'll see that the vowels are also red. We need to select a vowel. By selecting that, he's no longer red, and the requirement for him disappears. Let's go ahead and add a commander now. And again, the options on the right are based on what's highlighted on the left. So here are the options for the Emperor's Champion. Here are the options for my commander. In this case, I don't want a junior commander. I want to have a senior commander, which is called a marshal in the Black Templars. If I click on the marshal himself, I can go in and add a command squad. I can change war options, such as adding an iron halo, and let's say add frag grenades, bolt pistol, and a power fist. Every time we add things to the army list, which shows up right here, points get tabulated on a per unit basis and then rolled up at the top so that we can now see that right now we've used 352 points of 1500 points. There's an army composition summary that you guys can see right here. The Emperor's Champion doesn't count as an HQ choice although it can and in those instances you'll see a roster tab so now we want to select him to count as an HQ choice. And he, we see that under the HQ I now have two choices. But under troops there's still zero and it's red and we can see down here that I'm missing that in the composition of my army list. So let's go ahead and go over to troops. 
we'll add two Crusader squads. And even here in the Crusader squads, we can change and identify maybe they're coming in via drop pod. Maybe another Crusader squad is coming in with a Razorback. And again, even individually if there's weapon options and whatnot. So you're kind of getting the sense of this software. It's just so flexible to add and remove things and kind of work on your army list as you begin to play. Uh, the interface is just easy. All the validation rules, so for instance now we can see that the rules are satisfied for a normal standard mission, although we are clearly not at 1500 points just yet. But the real power of this software is not only in its ability to merge, create, and change around different options that you have, but also in the output display. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the output of the Tutorial 3 Orcs and Tyranid army list. As you can see here, we can see that the army, as we scroll to the bottom, consisted of 1,332 points. All the units are listed on the left and across in different columns they have all the various stats. Special rules that govern that particular unit are identified as well. And the real power here is the fact that all the pieces of the special rules, including their weapons, are listed for you below. So now if a particular unit had Furious Charge, you can see what that means, or at least where to look it up. We can also see under Weapons, the range, strength, the AP value, whether or not it's Assault, if it is a pinning weapon. It's just such a valuable resource that can be brought to a table that you might find using this software and after reading your codex once or twice, you might not need to bring your codex to every single game or at least reduce the amount of times you need to look things up. So this is what I use. Again, it's Army Builder by Wolf Lair. And I hope you guys uh, at least take a, a minute to t check this out if you haven't. Take care, guys.